Everyone, welcome back to Satisfactory. Okay, so I've had to do some change of plans, and as you can see, we've got a big manufacturer here. I'll explain that in a wee minute, but long story short, we need more power right now. The issue is, um, we have six coal power stations here, but unfortunately, these two that we add on, these can't be upgraded any further with shards, no, to make them faster, because there's not enough water going through the pipes to uh, supply them and keep them going and I don't really want to add another water um, pump over here to go into it because this was kind of like a temporary setup just to get all this here going. Uh, so I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use petroleum uh, generators to get this thing going. Now this manufacturer that is making the modular engines here at the minute and I'm able to just get it up to here that's just enough so it keeps this run but doesn't you know like blow up the network with the electricity you know, tripping it and not there so it's made how many is it made so far it's made 104 so far so we are just one-fifth over um the quarter for it and I have topped it up with all the plates that are needed so the, the smart plating um, and I've put a lot of rubber in it. It still needs more rubber and it needs a lot more motors. So what you see in the smart planting, that's how many motors we need in here. And that's all we've got. So these are busy making the rotors and that's making the stators over there. And then what I'm doing is I'm just by hand, I'm making the actual motor in here and then just adding them to this. Um, so you can see there on the, on the right hand side of the screen, we've got a list of stuff that we need to make the fuel power generator. Um, so we need to go look for KDM ore, and uh, let me just check to see where the closest is. Now I know there's some up over around here. This lake, this is from the last world, so hopefully it's, uh, where's that? Oh, there's some down here. It's pure as well. Is that on the, that's on the same island as the tractor coal station. Did we not see that in the, when we were up there? I know where that is, that's just along there where the water is. Really, really nice scenery there. I did consider building there one time before my last world. And there's that Kitty Moore I was talking about, but that's normal. But that's pure. So. We could get a drill set up there and have it at. You no, know, to make like different things and that. Let me just check the recipes. Inga, and then that's used. Let me see. We'll check the the wee wiki here on this. So it's a cadmium ore, and that's smattered into these bricks, and then those bricks are used to make cable. And what's the cable used for? After that, nothing. Right. So we need to ma make cable. So it'll be two. So one smelter and one um, what do you call it? A uh, constructor. Then we need to do that. So let's get that set up. So we need, uh, let me see, production, we need the Mark II, the smelter, and a constructor. We also need um, an industrial storage container for that. Uh, I don't think we're going to split it. I don't think I'm going to split no left and right for quick. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, stuff with conveyors and that there. Right, let's see what's on our list. So, um... I'm gonna take off the the fuel powered. Why can't I get out this? All right, fuel powered generator. I'm gonna get rid of that just momentarily. So we need ten industrial beams. Uh, is there none there? Don't see any there. Let's take that there out of it because um, and this here because we'll be putting that straight into it. Uh, let's see, else in here. I've been sorting this here stuff out, and I've been trying to collect these because, um, I'll explain that in the next, uh, over the next wee while, what I'm collecting them for. Not like I wasn't collecting them anyway, but uh, I'm more, I'm more the reason I'm collecting. Right, so we need two drills. Um, where did all them drills go to? Oh, there they are. There. So we need two of these here. Um, we need uh, some cable. Any cable in here? No. We need some rods. Any rods in here? No. Alright, let's go and get the rest of the stuff. So, cable. Uh, well, we get the rods first. Rods are just over here. So, just lift, uh, lift a stack of these here. Um, 
the rest that's over here. Uh, how many of these? I'll just take. Right there, I'll do rightly. Cable. That uh, and crust duster beams. Oh, I have to make those. And. Uh, some of that. Do rightly. Um. I guess the industrial beam something. Let me just add 10 of those here in. Uh, can I not add stuff in manually? Encased. Uh, how many of them do we need to add to this? Need 10 of these. Right, so we need more concrete. I think we have a lot of concrete down below. Let's uh, put some in here. Concrete. That should do the job. So let's make the encased industrial beams first. I only need 10 of these here, so I'll not go too overboard. Uh, oh, yes, we need cable, concrete, and all that there for setting off the stuff. Let's just make a mock one. Let's imagine that we're putting this here down. Oh no, it'll be alright. So we need storage. Just trying to think of the gent now. We will need to take electricity over there, so we'll need some more copper wire. Lucky enough, that's just down here. And this one is it? No, the next one. Uh, let's just take that. I think only half of that needs, so I'm going to put half of that back. And then out of this here, we'll take. Uh, no, I, I think that'd be alright. Oh, and we'll need some um, beams. More beams. Just going to take that. I'll do it. Alright, let's head on over. And we'll get um, that thing set up. So let me see, where it is it? We'll jump from here. We'll sort of fly our way over. So I, I don't... I didn't... I didn't realise we were so close to that stuff. I thought, um, they've definitely moved the ores about, unless it's dependent on, um, unless it depends on, you know, like, spawns and all that there, I know, like, how it switches stuff about, but I don't remember this being here in uh, my previous world. I, I definitely don't remember being over here, because I, I remember it, the only place it came up was wherever I first showed. And I thought to myself, oh, we're going to have to make a, a huge belt the whole way. I actually did have a belt the whole way coming from it, all the way around to where the, the old plant used to be. Right, right, let's see where this thing is. So it says it's around the back here somewhere. How did we miss this when we were getting the salvage? No, the, the ship. Oh, wait, sure, the ship was only here, wasn't it? Did we get that hard drive out of that? What are we missing? Oh, that's actually... Yeah, we can get it. We could actually do it a hard drive because I need it for unlocking two recipes. Well, two hard drives for two recipes. I don't think we actually fully explored this. I think that was what was wrong. So it says it's somewhere over here at the very end. Is that it there? How did we not notice that? Oh, let's be careful with that. Is this it? That's not it. What is this? What is this stuff? Wait, what? What is this thing? Oh, do we have to blow this thing up? Ah, I see. We have to blow this here up. That's just rock sitting on top of it. Right, but we can't put the drill on top of it, no? Let me see. Power. No. We need to blow that there up. That's the key to more right underneath it there, as you can see. Um, tell you what we'll do. We'll be smart about this. Let's uh, get the two drills. And...
Alright, so they're gonna mine away while we go and get some more explosives. We'll just take the. Oh! Sugar. I don't think we want to fall between that. Definitely not. You fall into that, you're dead. Well, there's a road. We have a road over there. We could probably you know, build a road up to there. Uh, what else is over here? There's not a copper over here. I suppose we could make use of some of this stuff. But um, I have been thinking a wee bit more. Just you no know, off game and that there. I think it would be smart to set up facilities around different parts of the map. No, like say we have KD more there. I think it would be smart to... <laughs> I think it'd be smart to set up certain factories just to make the basic stuff and then a train comes and collects it and takes it. You know, takes it to where we need it. That facility is going to be massive, so it is. It's actually kind of weird to see it from this angle. I haven't been at this angle in a while. Oh, yeah, we need to go up here. It's actually pretty cool to see that. I would like to build something on top of that there, but what to build, I don't know. Usually when I build it, it's for a factory or for some system. Right, let's see. Let's get the explosives. They're over here somewhere. For a lot of containers here. I don't want to keep them there because they're stuck in the way. I found a, what do you call it as well? That's what this here is. That's gas. No, but let's, I found that um, whenever I was going around looking for a wee sphere. For making the um that uh, cargo container that uploads to the cloud, if you'd like to call it. Uh, let me see what am I doing? I need the explosives. Yet yeah, that's all right. Uh, we'll put the object scanner. No, we'll leave the object scanner off. It's a bit of a nuisance. All right, let's head back. But let's also uh, send power over to it while we're here. So follow all these cables. And then we'll branch off to wherever we need. Might just uh, might just branch it off down where the um, thing is. There's there's uh, what do you call it? limestone pile there, and then there's another one just here. So we could you no know, have a uh, concrete coming off that, but I'd rather take it to somewhere where it's rich in that, you know. It's a lot better. Will I be able to get on top of this if possible? Yes. Right, I want to branch that there off. Send this over as far as I can go. What am I hostile against? What's around here that I'm hostile with? Ah, here it is. I think that'll do there. Alright, let's go blow this stuff up. Oh, maybe not. Can I pick that up? I actually can't. Why not? There we go. Short it. And we got some of that there to get going. Right. Need space. So I think we'll put it this way. So we'll get the production miner. Why is it up so high? I don't understand that. I don't know why it's up so high. That's so weird. Is there something else? Enter, no, like. Interrupt. There's one of those spheres up there. Dodgy area, though. You fall into that, you're not coming back up. At least I don't think there's any ledges for you to get back up onto. Oh, there is, but. I wouldn't really call that a safe haven place to fall. Right, let's see. The smelter comes next. 
Oh, that might be a bit too steep. We'll check first. Yep. Let's take it back a wee bit. I want to try this here again. Uh, that's doing my head in that um, explosive there. I'm afraid of it going off in front of us. There we go. That's more like it. I want to put that close enough. Smelter and then the uh, constructor in front of that. Yep, should be it. Logistics. Let's get going. Uh, this is going to be doing quick wire. This one's going to be doing Kenya Moringa. And then that's just going to be doing drilling. Uh, let's check here. So this will be processing 45 per minute. Um, uh, this here is going to be doing 240 per minute. It doesn't need to be going that mad. Uh, that's doing 12 per minute. So that's 12 per minute. That's 45 per minute. So that could probably... Nah, come down a wee bit. I usually go off now, like what the the one at the very end can do. So that's 12 per minute. But let's just power it up anyway and then we'll optimize it as we go along. And let's shove some stuff into it already. And then we'll put the rest of that in there. Right, so that is only doing, t it's consuming 12 per minute, so this here will only do 12 per minute. maybe we'll do we'll do 27 so that's 12.5 and this one here will be 12 so it's 5% there now is that right so it's a 1 to 1 3 to make 1 ah Wait, hold on. Uh, I've done it wrong. Let's uh, let's reset this here. Right, so that's that consumes twelve of these here per minute. This is producing fifteen. Let's put that to twelve. I keep always reading these wrong. I just always do. So that's doing twelve per minute, which consumes thirty six per minute. And this here will be set to thirty six per minute. There we go. That's it, man. So the way it works is you go backwards with it. So this consumes 12 ingots, so this here is making 12 ingots per second, which is consuming 36 of this here per minute, so which means this here has to mine 36 per minute, and that is optimized you now like, for best uh, power flow going into it. Uh, yeah, it's a long drop there. Oh, and uh, we need the, uh, the storage container to put it into. There she goes. Now we could speed this here up with shards, but I think that's a that's an okay of a flow there now at the minute. I there's a slug. I hear something else though. Check to see this is all clearing up. Although I might take some of that ore because I think we need some of these here. Um, I'm just going to take some of that there, right, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do some of this manually because I think we need some ingots for something. Uh, and we will take uh, that there as well. So... All good. 
probably should actually make uh, I, can, I wonder if we have enough material to do it I am actually really glad that we um, saved some of this uh, let's start the ramp here and have it gradually going up the ways oh uh, let me see I want to zoop oh no it's come back a bit further. Would you like to come for a wee bit of a drop? Oh, you wee devil. Come on. Let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. There's another one up there, I better be watching that. I'll not get too uh, cocky with it because the <laughs> it just takes something like that to go wrong once and then that's it, you're uh, you're dead. Let me see, I want this, uh, I want that to start to start right about there, so. Right, let's get rid of this. I want a gradual link up. Now you come here as well, you look like you're interested in a bit of a party. Come on, join the party there with your friend. Wee, bye bye. <sighs> no. Where is it? Oh, I didn't take enough. Wait, we could probably get rid of that. Wait, what? Where? No, not make any difference. Uh, let's see. Right, so we need a few more of these here to get up there. It's just a better ramp to get up and down, really. Um, so we'll take more of that on the way back. Some more uh, quartz. I swear to God, they're just sp uh, spawn like mad. Nick. Run by fruiting. That's a nut. It's not fruit. <laughs> anyway, let's head back and get a few of these here. I'm running low on them. Head back and. Uh, Put some of that stuff together to make the uh, what do you call it? The petroleum generator or whatever it is called. There's some weird names for items in this game. You no, know, like something that you wouldn't normally call it. What does it call it on this here? That petroleum thingy. Is it petroleum generator? What's in see now? Oh, what was that recipe I seen in the map that needed a QDM? That's fifth, so I need the right. So that gives you access to quick wire and cadmium. Uh, right, okay. And then we get access to the things like the zip line, which is pretty good, and the stun rebar, and uh, a whole lot of that there. Right. Uh, let's go back to the menu. Uh, power and a fuel power generator, not a petroleum generator. Let's get one of these. Uh, so we need 50 rubber. So we're going to nick that from here. Uh, we need 30 um, sheet. Lucky enough we have some of it here. And 15 encased industrial beams. I need to make a bunch of that and just have it on hand. It's handy to have. So I'm going to add that to the menu. Uh, 15. Oh, I suppose. There we go. So, need more concrete. Is there no more concrete in here? Nope. Let's go get some more concrete. But that whole uh, cloud system, no, for uploading your uh, items to it, that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna take two of these here. Yeah, I'll do. 
Um, that's pretty cool because what we're going to do is, the plan is, as I said earlier on the start of the episode, as I'll explain later on, is I'm going to put one of those like uh, cloud storage systems. Um, what is the actual name of it? What is that actually called? Dimensional Depot. I'm going to put one on the back of all these here containers. See all these here ones that we are joining on to? So there's already one here. That one that we had uh, in the last episode was moved to here. It's at the back of this. But we're going to have one on each of these here. So looking at there's 14 of these here cargo containers at the minute. And what we're going to do is we need to make another 13 and put them in the back of each one of these. That way it's stuff like this here will just go straight to it. Gets uploaded up onto it. And it means that we... Um, we don't have to come here as often to get items, you know, like we can just build straight out, out of it. And I don't think we need to upgrade it just yet. So we don't have to save up the spheres for upgrades because the speed I'm happy enough with. It's like it's not like as if it's gonna be mad. Yes, you'll be using more of it in the future, but I don't think we need a mad amount just now. So let's make um, 15 of these here. I need to check I need to put this down first because I need to see what way it need it consumes the oil. Because I wouldn't be surprised if we need a second refinery and to split the uh, oil and stuff like that there. Uh, it's not showing up on the um, the codex, is that what you call it? Like the Wii Wiki on this game. It doesn't show what it consumes. So what I mean by that is if we go to this here and we go to buildings and we put in uh, fuel, generator. It just says, no, like, it, it just says, what is it? Consumes fuel. But what's fuel? Like what is fuel? I know what fuel is, but uh, Danny, you know what fuel is and how do you obtain fuel? It's kind of like Minecraft, no, you sort of have to know the, the recipe to, to do it. Um, but let's put one of these here down anyway. Because I'm curious. Right, this only consumes fuel, does it? I hope it doesn't take water, because if it does, I'm going to be so annoyed. Yes, it doesn't. So we can get away with just putting... Uh... What's fuel? How do we get fuel? And it produces 250 megawatts. What the hell is fuel? See, I don't want to take this, right? Build it over there and then over where the oil is and then realize, oh dear. Oh, I need to split off the crude oil to make fuel because I can't do it from the plastic. I can't do it from the heavy residue crap. <sighs> I suppose it'd not be a wasted journey anyway because I need to go over there and get some rubber. Anyway. Oh wait, that reminds me. Something tells me there's a load of crap in the back of this here. There is a load of crap in the back of it. I need to get rid of this. I need to actually build a sink. Uh, an awesome sink over here to throw a load of items into because there's a lot of stuff we don't need. Uh, let me see, get in more. I should put some of this back. But I might just make another container to put um, crap into that one there next to it. Yeah, store all. What is in there that we need? Nothing of value there at the minute, is there? Well, we do need the items to actually build the, the thing, so let me get that back again. So we need the fuel power generator. Adium power augmenter. I'd like to experiment with that. That sounds pretty cool. So it just generates power based on the total amount of power on the attached power grid. This experimental technology is somehow able to extract power from the summer sleep by blasting it with energy. So something like that would be pretty cool. So we need to get 10 summer sleeps, but I've got three and I plan on using them in this here system uh, to duplicate items. Um, because I'd rather do that just to make progression a bit quicker in this game. Uh, but we are definitely progressing quicker in this than we are in the um, my last world anyway, that's for sure. Uh, we only need 50 of that. I'm just going to take that. That'll do. And rubber. That'll do. Uh, I'm going to tap. Oh no, the, the tractor is tapped up. So we're okay. And good thing for you is, Ollie, you, you don't have to see me running all the way over there because, well, I sort of do have to show run over there. But I did make a bridge. But the bridge isn't final just yet. I'll show you it here. Here it is. This bridge pretty much takes you straight over to it. This is the straightest bridge you'll probably see. It's not a straight in terms of no like a uh, linear. It's um, it's straight in terms of uh, uh, what am I saying? Linear. It's not straight in terms of vertical height and all that. There it does go up and down a wee bit, but in terms of getting straight to where you need, yeah, it's bang on point. 
The only thing is I need to do is I need to actually put it up to the highest point on this here and lower it or raise it because um, there's a few hills here and there on it. Um, I might put the train on it but if I'm going to put the train on this I will probably take it down to the uh, the lowest point on the, near the ground and just have hills going up. Oh, I forgot about this. See, this is one of the reasons why I need to fix this here. I think I'll just drive around this, don't I? Yeah. So I need to fix stuff like that there. But I might put one to the, just one that there side because I think we can get away with that. I think so anyway. But I need to experiment a wee bit more with it. And then just right over the top of this here. It's pretty cool. It might seem a bit stupid, but if the game allows it, no, why not? You know, it's it's a game at the end of the day. Like it's not like as if it's going to be a realistic simulator or anything. Like we are in an alien world, by the way. It's not like as if this here exists at the minute. But yeah, this is a it's a good wee bridge. It takes you all the way down to here, so I don't have to do all running, and it saves half the time. Yes, it took a long time to build this bridge, but it saves half the time. Take it all the way down. I think we can get away with putting it closer to the ground. Oh, this is still going. It's not actually full yet. Now turn this here around. Um. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't take any pipe. But anyway, at least we can uh, experiment with this here, right? So heavy oil residue. Let's see. Select grass. So we got fuel. Residual fuel. So we get like uh, polymer resin uh, or residual fuel, uh, liquid biofuel, and that comes from that there. So we can actually jam it in between. I think we have all the stuff we need. Let me see. Let's just check here for a second. So that's making that. Let's change that to make residual fuel. Aha! It is. It's perfect. Nah, it's only making a small bit. So that's, that's doing 40 per minute. Residual fuel. Alright, let's get this here taken away. I'm going to take this back to where we need it. Uh, we need to connect the generator. Somewhere where this here can get it. Oh, we don't have the space for it, do we? Unless I take it this way. Yeah, actually. Let's just turn that off for a second. Um, I'll get rid of this here for a second. That might actually save us in some pipe. Right, so we need to put this into a uh, production. We need to put this into a refinery. Have the refinery coming this way, angle a wee bit. Uh, what's in the way of that? That's the pole. I'm trying to prioritize uh, where to put this. I want that. Let's put it just there. Hopefully we can get away with just putting that around a bend. Oh, it might not. Let's see. If not, it's not a big deal. No, well, it does. So it's going there. Uh, this is doing residual fuel. Let's hook that up to the mains. Uh, suppose this one here next to it. So that's going to work through that. And then we'll put the fuel power generator in front of that. Surface is not even. I wonder if it's because we have this crap here on the way. Sort of is fun. Can I get it in here? How far do I need to put this thing? I don't want to put it no like miles away or anything. Alright, looks like it's gonna have to go there. Hopefully we have enough uh, pipeline to get this. There we go. Alright, so what's this? That's consuming 40 fuel per minute and how much does this consume per minute 
Uh, it doesn't see, does it? No connection. Alright, let's see. Let's get it powered up to this one here. Oh, that's consuming uh, 20 per minute. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We did say there was, was it? Each refinery is capable of, uh, oh, sorry, each uh, pump is able to do eight refineries. So we could have eight generators going here easily enough. And the good thing is these don't need to be water cooled either. So we don't have to rely on all that crap. No, keep that cool. We could get away with doubling that, but the uh, two power shards. Because of the uh, the fact that it's not actually consuming 20, uh, it's not consuming 40, and this here, and this here is, but that's consuming 60, let's just double check, so if that's consuming 60, this here needs to be able to produce 60, oh it doesn't, okay that's good to know, so that maximum is 50, so that we need to make sure this here maximum is 50 per minute. So let's take it down to 35. Ooh, 34 maybe. Uh, 33. We'll keep it at that. Want to consume a bit less. So now that's doing 33 per minute. And this here is still at 20. That's alright. No, we'll maximize everything up. It does no harm anyway. Let's check. Let's just maximize that up. It'll do no harm. 50 per minute. Alright, how much rubber have we got? Good bet. Let's take all that. We need as much of that as we can. So now we've got a generator going, lots of power. Excellent. I'm really happy with that. There's, uh, there's a, what do you call it? A slug up there. Ooh, tempted. Tempted. Very tempted here. We could put this up a wee nick, get a bit more out of it. Nah, I'll tell you, it'll be alright. Let's head back. It'll be okay. But there's another oil patch, see down here, see just there, before you get to that uh, weird thing, whatever you call it. There's a wee oil patch down here. Uh, there's another one just back a bit further. So we could have a huge power system over here, just for doing, you no know, like power. So, um... What we could do as well is we could have three refineries splitting into eight each. So that'd be like say 24 um, refineries. So three pumps doing eight, 24 refineries. One's making plastic, one's making rubber and the other one's making the polymer resin. And then they go into various different uh, containers. The train comes over and picks them up. And then, uh, oh, does fuel as well. So they'll, they'll split and do fuels and different things. Train comes over here, picks up whatever it needs, and then we'll have a awesome sink system in place as well, so that um, whenever the containers get too full, they just go straight into that, and we're not you no know, like stopping the whole system. Because if that rubber, if this rubber here maximizes out, what happens is it backs into this, and whenever that backs up, it stops producing um, the heavy oil, and then this stops producing fuel, and then that generator stops. So all the more reason to get this here automated system in place. The one for the um, the filtered, the filtered uh, sorting, uh, what do you call it, splitter, item splitter. All the more reason to get that as soon as possible. Alright, so let's head on back up. We've got everything we need anyway, and that's all linked up. This here is very unstable on this bridge for some reason going up the ways. I don't know why it is. It's happening all over the place here. I'm a bit afraid of it. Oh! Get off, get off, get off there. It slides all over the place going up it, but going straight, it's grand. I don't know why it does that. I might rebuild it. But look, looking at this here view, you can sort of see where you get a train around it. We could actually take a train straight over the top here and have it hugging along that wall and spiral down and around. So I might do something like that. But. If we're going to be building the train system on this here map, I want to use not these here foundation plates because they're too wide. I want to use something that's just wide enough for the track because I want it to look like a monorail system and not look like as if it's some 
I don't know, rough foundation slapped onto the, onto the, what do you call it, world. Ah, oh, come on, I got up there finally the other day. There we go. I should actually put more foundations around that to drive around it. Or move the whole bridge one to the right. I think we can get away with moving it one to the right in the and it would actually be in our interest to do that, wouldn't it? We'll soon see now. So far, we can. All the way back there, we can. But then we're not keeping this bridge either, so... Is there even a point? But we can, yeah. I, I, we could easily get over that there. The train could come through here. Yeah, the train could actually come right through there. Right, let's head back and... Sort out our stuff. At least we've got more power now, so now we'll be able to overclock this whole thing. I did actually set an autopilot on this here, you know, to uh, drive that tractor, but it um, it went a wee bit weird, so I turned it off. I was afraid of it going and crashing itself or something with a load of stuff in the back and not realise it like until it's too late. Oh, rubber. Let's dump that in here. That's just the rubber storage at the minute. If it doesn't use it, it doesn't use it. Uh, right, let's see if we can get away with maximising this thing out. So we need three summer sloops and seven of these. Let's see if we've got the power to do this now. So that's three. So that's a multiplier of uh, 1.75. And uh, let's just see what it takes it up to. So it was 94. I wouldn't be surprised if the thing goes to something like maybe 500. Watt megawatts because I noticed that in the other machines, whenever you put one of these in, it went up like by a hundred. So, three of these here, about 300 plus 94, which is 400, plus that, about 500 or so. Not actually too bad. 287. So, that's going to make 3.5 a minute. And let me see, we've got 150, 166. So we're. We've only made about 60. We've made 61 in the whole time of this here episode. This episode's been about 42 minutes long. So yeah, you can sort of get an idea in your head of how much it's producing per, per minute. I just want to see if it does this. Oh, it's went to 421. That's close to 500. Let's see what the power's like now. Oof. Even whenever it was just before we put the upgrade in, it just seemed a bit... You know, just above. I might take that out because there'll be a matter of time before that does collapse. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that. That will collapse. I'd rather it multiply than use the quick shard. I just, I'd rather do that. Right, so that's the power knocked down to back to 287. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Until we get more fuel generators going, um, that's what we'll do. But the more fuel generators we get, the higher the power I put through the whole system. And we'll be able to put them summer sloops into various different machines like this here and not have to worry about you know, like, uh, items so much because it's going to be double based on the items. So they get half on the recipe cost. So instead of being two motor motors to produce it, it's uh, only one. So it ha it's like a, a half or so. Uh, anyway, at least I think that's what it is. But yeah, we'll not worry about that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I need to explain uh, what we're doing in the next part. Th well, that's, that is going to continue making those modular engines. And then whenever that's finished doing that, I will start making these adaptive units. Is that what you call those? Is that is it? Adaptive unit? Adaptive control unit. We'll start making some of these here. I know I did say I would you know, make the factory for doing it. But, you see, the thing is, they consume uh, oil and stuff, and until we get the train system, we can't build that. Because I don't want to put a refinery in here, build like a whole refinery system, and then find out, oh, 
all we needed was just one for our plastic and that uh, the train comes and uh, the, the train just comes and delivers plastic off which puts my point even more further I think what we should do in the next few series uh, next few series, next few episodes is uh, set up um, areas just for making certain types of parts so one area makes just the sheet metal one area makes steel rods one area makes screws one area makes the plastic which would be over there one area makes concrete, the other one makes steel beams, and another one makes steel uh, rods, etc, etc, etc. You get the point. Uh, the train comes and picks all that stuff up, delivers it to here, and the belts take it up to whatever floor it's needed. So this whole ground level you see here, all that can disappear. Which is good, because now we can have these here con car containers more tightly together. And because they're more tightly together, we can have a filter system in place to sort out our items. So if we have a full inventory, we just dump it into one container. It sorts it out amongst these here, and there you have it. So I think that is the next goal for the next few uh, episodes, anyway. But yeah, that's it for this here. Thanks again for watching. I know it's been a long episode, but it's all been worth it at the very end. But if you have any comments or any suggestions at all, do drop it down below or visit the Discord channel that is linked in the description. Follow Discord channel for the schedule as well as the information board. There you'll be able to see what games are playing as well as when those games are coming out on to YouTube. If you're enjoying the content, do consider subscribing and drop a like if you enjoy what you see. As you know, it will show up what people are interested in the most. And I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. But other than that, thanks again for watching and I will certainly see you in the next one. I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators, you helped make these videos possible.